Welcome back to STS. In this video, we're going to use the difference quotient to find the slope and the equation of a tangent line given um, a particular function and a value of x. All right, let's begin by finding the y value. We know that f of x is the same thing as y. So we're going to take f of negative 2 is equal to 5 times negative 2 to the second plus a negative 2 exponents first so this here becomes 5 times 4 because negative 2 to the second is 4 and a positive times a negative makes that a negative 2 so here I have 20 minus 2 which says I have value of 18 so my point of tangency is negative 2 18 now we need to use my difference quotient so f prime of x is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 uh, f of x plus h minus f of x which is the original function divided by h alright let's go ahead and change color so we can easily see what's going on here alright so now we're going to have equals the limit as h approaches 0 anywhere there's an x it needs to be replaced with an x plus h so 5 times x plus h quantity squared plus x plus h minus I have two terms well minus the original function I have two terms so I need to use parentheses so that's going to give me a 5x squared plus x and again everything here is divided by h again let's rewrite to be proper the limit as h approaches 0 5 now I need to foil this x plus h well x times x gives me x squared x times h gives me xh but I want to have two of them so that's 2xh and then h times h gives me a h squared and then I can just rewrite the positive x the positive h now I distribute so these signs change negative 5x squared minus x and again everything here is divided by h alright now let's see limit as h approaches 0 let's distribute this 5 to each term so here I have 5x squared plus 10xh plus 5h squared plus x plus h minus 5x squared minus x where all of that here again is divided by h now let's look for cancellations and you should have cancellations otherwise you've made a mistake somewhere 5x squared and a negative 5x squared I got a positive x and a negative x and alright that's all the canceling for now um, but I do see for my numerator I have a GCF of h so let me factor that out so equals the limit as h approaches 0 factoring out an h so I have 10x plus 5h plus 1 where all of this is divided by h. I see I have a common factor of h in both my numerator and denominator so that cancels and I'm left with the limit as h approaches 0 of 10x plus 5h plus 1. Now it's safe to do a straight substitution where h is 0 so this here is equal to 10x plus 5 times 0 plus 1. We're left with 10x we know 5 times 0 is 0 and 0 plus 1 gives me 1. So this here is the expression for the slope. So now let's figure out exactly what the slope is at this point of negative 2. So again we substitute. So f prime of negative 2 and again let me change color so it's easily seen. f prime of negative 2 is equal to 10 times negative 2 plus 1. 10 times negative 2 gives me negative 20 plus 1. Negative 20 plus 1 gives me a negative 19. So here I see the actual slope value is negative 19. And now let's use the uh, slope intercept form. Y equals mx plus b. And again, let's change color. I'm using y equals mx plus b because I have the point negative 2, positive 18. And I have the slope of negative 19. Y is 18. M is negative 19. X is negative 2 and the y-intercept I'm trying to find out so that's just b so here I have 18 is equal to negative 19 times negative 2 gives me a positive 38 plus b I need to get the b by itself so I subtract 38 from both sides 
those 38 cancel and I'm left with negative 20 is equal to B so the equation of that tangent line is Y is equal to the slope negative 19 X minus the Y intercept which is 20 and now let's quickly go to the calculator and verify these answers all right let's pull up the calculator here All right, with the calculator, I've already gone ahead and entered in the two equations where y1 is the original equation and y2 is the equation of the uh, tangent line or the derivative. Let's go ahead and graph those. And let's go to zoom and let's set it to 8, which would be integer. So let's take a look at, at this graph. Here's, here's the parabola. And then we have our linear um, equation that comes in there. Now let's go ahead and go to second and then trace. We want to go down to six to calculate the derivative. And we want the derivative when x is negative two. And we're already set for the first equation. So at this point we can just press enter. And we see that derivative does come out to be negative 19, which is the same thing we calculated here at negative 19. And the other thing that we see here is that when x is negative 2, we see that y is also a positive 18, just like we had calculated. All right, so that sums it up for this video by Spell Tutorial Services. Please friend us on Facebook and also subscribe to our YouTube channel. And thank you again for watching.